Georgia Governor Brian Kemp has recently issued an executive order that will, quote, reopen Georgia during the coronavirus pandemic. But in order to understand what that really means, we need some context. My name is Joseph and this is AJC in Context. Since this is such a big topic, we've sourced many stories from our website, AJC.com. So if you want to read any of those or you just don't feel like watching me, links to all the stories in the description down below. Now, first, I think it's important to understand where Georgia is in this pandemic. Then what does Kemp's order specifically do? And finally, how do Georgians feel about it? Well, the number of confirmed cases is over 21,000 and there are over 870 deaths as of recording this video. Now, the Georgia Department of Labor says that the number of workers in the state who have filed for unemployment benefits is about 1.1 million over the last month. That is more than one in five Georgia workers. Now that we've set the stage, let's get into what the governor actually did when he quote reopened Georgia. The executive order opens gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, body art studios, barbers, cosmetologists, hair designers, nail care artists, estheticians, and massage therapists on Friday, April 24th if they comply with social distancing requirements and other safety standards. Ad additionally, restaurants, theaters, and private clubs will be allowed to reopen on Monday, April 27th if they comply with specific social distancing and sanitation mandates set by the governor's office. But all of this does not mean Kemp's shelter-in-place order, which started on Friday, April 3rd, is no longer in effect. In fact, it will remain in effect through April 30th. And he's also encouraged, quote, medically fragile residents including the elderly and those with weak immune systems, to stay at home until May 13th. Well, how do Georgians feel about it? Well, many local leaders were, were caught off guard by Kemp's decision. Mayor Beau DeRoe of Albany, where, where, where nearly 100 people have died from coronavirus, went so far as to say, I think the decision is irresponsible. I'm flabbergasted that the governor would say we can't take additional precautions in protecting our citizens. This isn't a mixed signal. It's a U-turn. Additionally, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms said Kemp's decision left her baffled. On April 20th, she said, I still have a voice I can use, and I will continue to ask Atlantans to please stay home. We do not know what the governor is looking at, but what I do know is we nearly have 19,000 people who have tested positive as of this evening. Conversely, Marietta Mayor Steve Thunder Tolman said on Facebook, thank you, Governor Brian Kemp and our state leaders, health leaders, and National Guard. Buy, hire, trade, and dine in Marietta. Which brings us to businesses. Obviously, people want to get back to making money. The joblessness number at the, at the beginning of the video was absolutely staggering. But just because businesses can open, does that mean they will? Is it safe? Tucker Calloway, who has owned Salon Next for 21 years, spoke to that confusion by saying she's gotten, quote, 500 phone calls from clients to get their hair done since this announcement. She went on to say, my employees want to make money, but at the same time, they feel pressure. They are petrified to come back to work, but if they don't, they can't put food on their table. Kemp has made this decision too quick. Ultimately, this comes down to, to, to the good people of Georgia. And that's why I want to pass the question off to you. Are you going back to work? Are you ready to head back to gyms, restaurants, and other big businesses? Let me know why or why not in that comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there, press that like button if you like this video. If you enjoy the way we break down the news, give you the information and the context, go ahead and press that subscribe button so you do not miss this weekly news show. Press the favorite button if you really, really liked it. Oh, and also share the video with somebody who needs the information and the context. But as always, internet, my name is Joseph and this is AJC in Context.